Hello, in our previous video, whose link can be found in the description below, we explain how to simulate the response of a thin plate when a static force is acting at its center. The response of the plate is shown here. It can be seen that the plate oscillates despite the fact that the force is static. Of course, this is not a realistic situation because almost every mechanical system is subjected to some form of damping. Motivated by this, in this video we will present a simple method for incorporating the model damping. The method we are using for incorporating the model damping is based on a spring damper foundation. So here is a side view of the system. This is a plate and we assume that its edges are constrained, that is these points A and B are fixed. That is the whole radius, the whole outer radius of the plate is fixed. We assume that there is a force F acting at its center and we assume that a center point we have added a spring and a damper at the point C, at the center point. This is the angle view of the system. Now, when we talk about physical realization of such a spring damper system, we can think of a shock absorber in our cars, right? So, shock absorber is composed of a spring and a damper. And there are many other cases, but we will not discuss them over here for brevity. Using the console multiphysics package, we have simulated the system for three cases. The first case shown over here is when there is no damping. So we can see that the plate freely oscillates. The second case is when the damping is equal to 250. We can see that after some time, the oscillations settle down. And the third case is for the highest damping of 750. And we can see that after maybe 0 0.3, 0 0.4 seconds, the system completely settles. These three graphs show how the center point will oscillate in time. So if this is a plate, and if this is a center point, and if we can observe the deformation, the out of the plane displacement of the center point, and if we plot it on a y axis, and if we plot time on the x axis, we will obtain the following three graphs. So this is the undamped case, this is the lightly damped case, and this is uh, the damped case. Now, we explain how to obtain the simulation results using the console multiphysics software. We will quickly go over certain steps since they are explained in our previous video. Uh, you can find the link in the description below. We click on Model Wizard. We click on 2D. We click on Structural Mechanics plate, we click add, we click study, we choose time dependent and we click done. Okay, so now we are in the main screen of the console multiphysics package. First we define the geometry. We click on circle, the radius should be one and we click build all objects. Then we need to define the center point. Its coordinates are 0 and 0. Build all objects. Fine. Now we have the center. Next, we specify the material. We choose the structural steel. Here are the main uh, properties. Density, Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. Now, let us check the 
plate thickness, the plate thickness is 0 0.01, same as in the previous case. Next, we need to add a force. So we click at the point and we click at the point load. And we select the center point. So the center point has number 3. Okay, we click on build all. We click on mesh and click on build all. So here is our mesh. Next, we need to specify the boundary conditions. So we assume that the outer edge of the plate is fixed. So we click on the plate and we need to choose the fixed constraint. So now we have to select the edges. So here, the, now it's a little bit more difficult here to select the edges, but we will make it. Okay, now we have selected the edges. Now we have to go to the study and we have to adjust the parameter, the step of the solution. So we look at the deformation from the time instant zero until time instant 0 0.5 seconds and the step will be 0 0.05 seconds. So let us compute the solution. Now we are computing the solution. Now, we don't obtain any results because we didn't specify the force, right? The force is minus 100 newtons in the z direction, okay? Let us click on build all, we click on study and we com click on compute. Take some time to compute the solution. This computer has 16 gigabytes of RAM and has i7 processor. It's made in 2017. It's an HP laptop. Okay, so here is our solution. Okay, so here is our solution. So let us look at the deformation. You can click at the height expression, or you can add uh, you can add uh, another graph, which we will do over here. We click on the results. Two D plot group. We click on the surface. We click on the height expression, and here it is. So here is our deformation. Now let us see the 1D plot. We add the 1D plot and we need to choose the uh, point graphs which since we are looking at the point let's, let us choose the center point and let us choose plot. So here is how our oscillations will look like. Now let us add the system damping. So we click on the plate and we click on the points and we can select spring foundation. So if we select the spring foundation we'll have the following menu. So we can specify the spring constant of let's say 1000 and viscous damping of let's say 750. So, and don't forget to specify the point. You need to specify where the spring damper foundation will be added. You can also specify a point mass, which we will not do this in this video. In this way, you can model the actuator. So here is our uh, spring foundation. Let us click on build all. Let us click on study. We click on compute. Again, it takes some time and let us see how the deformation will look like. Here it is. So we have a damped response of the system. Now, using the same procedure as the one explained in our pre previous video, we can save this as animation, we can get the height expression, etc. Thank you for watching this video. In next video, we will explain how to incorporate 
incorporate Rayleigh damping. That's another way of incorporating the model damping without the need to use spring damper foundation. Thank you.